While Congress has yet to pass a defense budget or take up a House vote on supplemental military aid to Ukraine, the U.S. Army is now footing the bill for its training of Ukrainians. It is an essential mission. We can't turn our backs on them. Um, and so, yeah, absolutely. Our, our army, our services are going to have to start talking and making some tough decisions that are going to impact the entire force. Army officials tell VOA that if nothing changes, U.S. Army Europe and Africa will run out of funding for everything, including support to Ukraine and U.S. operations and exercises with NATO allies at the start of summer. A funding crisis that Deputy Pentagon Press Secretary Sabrina Singh says is raising alarm bells. We are definitely vulnerable. We're unable to modernize. We're unable to change programs. It's like fighting with one arm tied behind our back. As analysts point out, Russia's war against Ukraine still looms large over the European continent. And if you start curtailing training and readiness of U.S. forces in Europe, then that is another gift of Vladimir Putin. A gift that Army veteran and former Capitol Hill staffer Brad Bowman says will encourage further aggression from Russia and come at a far higher price than the current budget or foreign aid supplementals. It's, it's providing Ukraine weapons today so we don't have to have Americans giving their lives tomorrow. It's really that simple. Ukraine's foreign minister recently told CNN that Ukraine would not have lost the city of Avdivka, where Kyiv's forces recently withdrew, had Ukraine received all the artillery ammunition that was needed to defend it. Do you agree with his assessment? I do. Uh, Adivka was a uh, strategic withdrawal, but that was a withdrawal because of congressional inaction. There is a direct link. This is the fifth straight month that the Pentagon has operated without a full budget, and it has not sent a new round of military aid to Ukraine since late December. Carla Babb, VOA News.